So the Avatar 360 leaks just got a whole lot more real and honestly I'm not even surprised. In my last video I told you this drone was never going to be a sub 250 gram drone and now the FCC filing basically confirms it. And let me quickly explain why, because a lot of people were still arguing in the comments. A 360 drone isn't just two lenses on a frame, you're, you're talking about dual sensors, dual processors, a rotating camera system, extra stabilization, more heat management, and more power draw. Every single one of those things adds weight. And then you add prop guards, a tougher frame, a bigger cooling structure, and FPV level motors. Yeah, there was no universe where this thing magically lands at 249 grams, and the FCC battery leak just sealed it. Um, instead of shrinking the battery like everyone assumed, DJI went bigger. Avatar 2 used a 31.7 yoh pack. The FCC documents for the Avatar 360 show roughly 38.6 yoh. That's not a small bump, and like how far Hoyas. That's a we built a new flight system and we need a real battery to power it bump. And honestly, for a drone that's expected to run a 360 camera and still fly like an FPV machine, it makes total sense. You can't power dual fisheye lenses, extra sensors, a rotating housing, and run low latency FPV performance on a tiny battery. That's why I said from day one, this is not a sub 250 gram drone. Now, the new leak from Igor Bogdanov, Tuzaris, uh, who has been absolutely spot on with the Mini 5 Pro, the Osmo 360, the Action 6, and now this um, finally gives us a clearer picture of what DJI is building. You can literally see the rotating camera system. That's not speculation anymore. Um, the camera switches between full 360 capture and a forward FPV view, depending on how you fly. And that instantly tells you something important. This drone is not meant to compete with the Insta360 Anti-Gravity A1. Those are two different animals. One is aiming at long, stable, cinematic 360 shots. The other, the Avatar 360, is clearly trying to mix FPV agility with full 360 capture. Two totally different workflows. And because of that, the weight was never the goal. The goal is power, stability, processing a camera system that doesn't fall apart when you rotate the drone 180 to ground while doing a dive. And the FCC battery leak confirms DJI wants to keep decent flight time even with all that hardware. If they went sub 250, flight times would crash to something unusable. And um, nobody wants a seven minute 360 drone. Another interesting detail is the frame. If you compare it, to the Avatar 2, the 360 version looks tighter, more compressed, and less bulky. Lighter doesn't mean lightweight, it means DJI shaved material only where it made sense, not to chase a category. This makes the drone more aerodynamic, more FPV friendly, and still strong enough to protect the dual lens camera inside that rotating housing. And yeah, the camera being protected inside the frame instead of hanging on a gimbal, that's a big deal for crashes, but here's what everyone is forgetting. The moment Anti-Gravity A1 was announced for early 2026, DJI needed a response. Insta360 isn't just playing around, they are shifting into the drone world now. And DJI doesn't want to lose that creator segment. So the Avatar 360 is basically DJI saying, okay, you want a 360 drone, fine, we'll make one, Boris but we'll also make it fly like an FPV machine. And that's why the extra weight makes sense. Um, better battery, bigger processing headroom, more sensors, more stability, more confidence for pilots who wanna do fast, aggressive FPV lines while still capturing a full 360 field of view. You can't do that on a 249 gram shell. It would break, overheat, or die in six minutes. What I'm really curious about is the flight feel, because FPV drones need ultra low latency, while 360 cameras need heavy processing. Those two worlds don't always match, and this is where DJI has a chance to get it right or um, make something that feels confused, but based on the battery, the frame, and the sensor layout, it looks like they are leaning more towards FPV performance than being a pure 360 rig, and honestly, that's what makes it exciting. 
A 360 FPV hybrid is something we haven't really seen done properly yet. If this drone can rotate the camera, stitch 360 footage, track subjects, and still give that FPV punch, then DJI has something unique. Not a copy of Anti-Gravity, not a simple upgrade over Avatar 2, but a new category, so yeah. For everyone who kept asking, will it be under 250 grams, uh, the answer is finally official, no, and it never needed to be. The FCC leak just confirmed what was obvious all along, and now we're finally starting to understand what DJI has been building. Not a tiny toy, but a small, powerful, creator-focused FPV 360 machine. We're getting close to launch, and uh, once the next batch of leaks lands, especially flight footage, things are going to get interesting. So stay connected, and I see you in the next one. Case closed, for now.